And we're back. It is now the 16th. The other day was just a special little uh, day for magic and friendship and whatnot. Today, though, today is a normal day, quote-unquote. And by normal day, I mean that it is the kind of day where we have to go out and we have to give a gift to someone. Because it is someone's birthday. We'll take care of that in a minute, though. It is another harvest for all the strawberries. So give me just a minute to take care of my field. Alright, that's good enough for now. I'll actually water all my strawberries and pick them later. For now, though, let's go find Yue. Or I could be completely incapable of finding her. This is literally the last place I know of. She's, of course, here. Yeah, of course. Hey, Yue. Good morning, Kyle. I can't stand squid. They're just so tentacly and gross. Let's buy something. Now, for Julia, she wants... I'm actually not sure I have to check that because I wasn't smart about this. Mm. Seafood pizza for 2070. Or 4140, right. She charges double. Yeah. There goes one twelfth of our money, but, you know, this will make her happy. And anything for Julia. Oh, and, yeah. Here's an Agua Marine. Thank you. An Agua Marine a day keeps the upsetness away? The upsetty spaghetti? Okay. As per usual, we're gonna take this quest and take care of this. We're not actually gonna be able to give the gift to Julia until the afternoon. So until then, let's just chat people up and do our normal stuff. Oh, morning! Come on, Kyle, let's play with me! Have to wait around to nine. I didn't think this through. Uh... I guess I'll just water some of these strawberries. Give me 30 seconds. Oh, hi, Barrett. Warning. Do you ever have anything to do? Barrett, is there anything you dislike? I wouldn't even want to look at an eggplant. Alright. Hi, oh, you saw my posting on the bulletin board? Great! The thing is, I really love four-leaf clover. Ba ba ba. Normal stuff. We've read this before. Oh, and, uh, while well, I'm thinking about it, a pink turnip a day keeps the upsetty away. So as I've probably mentioned in the past, I do have spreadsheets that I normally use, and I actually haven't printed these off, I've just been using them on Google Docs this time, just so I could edit things because I wasn't sure about a lot of my information. And, uh... Yeah, I just went through and edited a lot of information. I will be coming back to this island later, so I will take care of, like, the mining and stuff then. But know that... Uh, through looking through everything, I've been learning a lot. For instance, if you use the Battle Hammer, it's a lot better for mining than the Regor Hammer, should your mining level be good. Oops trying to see if I can get anything good. Typically, you can get better stuff if you have a high mining level, but more importantly, in the Padova Mountain area, you can actually get gold, and that is huge early game, because it's rare. You can't get it with your Rager Hammer. I'm not getting lucky with anything here, but at least I'm not getting scrap iron, right? That's probably the biggest advantage. Okay, here we go. Another loved gift. Four Leaf Clover. Hi. Hurry, please. Morning. 
Have you ever met Ray? He's Alicia's younger brother. You can easily find him at the clinic. He and I are really close friends. Remember that. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Are you interested in fashion at all, Kyle? Fashion? Can't really say that I am. Oh. Well, that was disappointment. We don't have any gems for you, so I'll have to come back later. After I've done my mining. Okay, so today, other than just uh, doing Julia's birthday, we're also going to be questing. I'm going to take care of more of the stuff. So cancel that one. Mm. Say, you think you can help me out, Kyle? What's the matter? You see, my sister and mother are having kind of an argument. Nothing unusual for them, but still. I was wondering if you might be able to defuse this situation. Could you go see what's going on with them? I doubt they'd tell me what's really going on. Please, Kyle, you're the only one I could ask. Sure thing. Thanks, Kyle. I mean, Max was just saying how good friends you guys are, but it's also Max, so that's fair. <laughs> uh. Oh, Kyle, what is it? Um, are you and Alicia having a fight? What? How did you know that? I heard it from Ray. He was concerned about the two of you fighting. I can't believe that, child. He's just so sensitive. He'll need to toughen up if he wants to be a doctor someday. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, enough of that. I'm not forgiving Alicia. And if you see her, you can tell her that. Well, I guess that's our cue to go see Alicia. After I take this delicious drink of delicious water. Okay, first things first, prediction for tomorrow. Also, it should be noted that yesterday was a rainy day, and I'm not sure if that was my first one in-game or not. I don't remember the earlier episodes, as that was a good amount of months ago. But, uh, that, you know, it's neat. Tomorrow's weather. Tomorrow will be sunny, as it normally is. Okay. What is it, Kyle? Do you need something? Alicia, did you have a fight with your mother? H how do you know about that, Kyle? I heard about it from Ray. He noticed that you two were having a fight. He's as nosy as ever. So why are you two having a fight? The same as always, she doesn't believe that I should be a fortune teller. More than that, she told me that none of my readings would ever come true, so I were told that she would lose something very dear to her. Then I ate her pumpkin pudding that she'd been looking forward to eating. That's not fortune telling at all. I told her, see, my prediction came true, didn't it? She was furious with me. Yeah, of course she got mad. But isn't it a little childish to get so mad just because I ate one little snack? Yes, but you probably shouldn't have done that in the first place, Alicia. I know that. That's why I brought her another pumpkin pudding to give to her. I know, Kyle. Why don't you give it to her for me? It's kind of hard for me to do it myself, please? Ah, uh, okay. You received a pumpkin pudding. Thanks, Kyle. Okay. So, this is one of those quests that it gives you a person's loved gift. It gives you Alicia, Ray's, and Natalie's loved gift, pumpkin pudding. The thing is that you obviously can't give it to Natalie, and Alicia doesn't benefit from gifts, I don't think? I don't think so, at least. If I remember correctly, it's just the fortune reading. Or at least her friendship will go up, but her love only raises by fortunes. So, I'm gonna try giving this to Ray to see if he'll accept it. And if so, I'll restart the quest. Are you giving this to me? Wow, thanks. I love it. Yep, okay, that's awesome. <laughs> That's super messed up. So if you want to get a high friendship with Ray, absolutely you can abuse this quest. I will not be doing that, but know that it is an option. Um, I'm going to look at what else he actually loves. Wow. Uh, Pink Cat is the only one that's available to us at this point. So I'll see you in a second when I'm caught back up with that quest. Oh, good morning! <laughs> That is, if I hadn't forgotten to accept the request in the first place. I won't give her the thing she just gave me. That would be messed up. I really considered it, though. Pumpkin pudding. 
This, this is pumpkin pudding. Kyle, why do you have this? Alicia gave it to me. She told me to give it to you, Natalie. She sent her apology. She could have brought it to me herself. I can't believe that child. Sorry you had to get mixed up in a little family spat, Kyle. No problem. I can tell you and Alicia are close, even though you fight a lot. Of course, but eating my pumpkin pudding, that's unforgivable. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. I'll bet you'll make a great husband someday. Huh? I haven't even thought about marriage yet. <laughs> marriage always finds the people who expect it the least. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what would happen if you had actually, you know, done this quest after getting married. Hmm, an interesting thought. I'm sure it would just, you know, be the exact same text or something. Yeah, probably. How'd it go? Fine, it seems Lily shading your mom mother's pumpkin pudding is what set the whole thing off. Figures, that's mom's favorite. She's made it for us since we were little. Nothing beats mom's cooking. I see, must be nice. Yeah, anyway, thanks, Kyle. You were a big help. No problem. Your family's really interesting, Ray. Yeah, don't I know it? Well, at least it's never dull, right? Thanks again. And that's the quest. Mm, okay. Alright. I'm assuming the next one won't just be available or whatever. Probably not. Yeah, no, it would not seem so. Delivery boy wanted for Natalie. Let's do it. Let's help out the family today. Welcome to the family. What can I do for you today? Oh, Kyle, thanks for coming. You're welcome. What? <laughs> I don't think that's... Okay, I'd like you to take this medicine to Byron. Could you do that for me? Okay, but is Byron sick or something? Oh, he's okay. You're just delivering a health aid. It's a vitamin drink. It's a good kick of strength. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. You're really a big help. Yeah, awesome. Hey, Byron. I want to talk to you. Your town's pretty far from the capital, Norad. That just means plenty of nature already. Yeah, okay, that's not what I was really looking for. Alright, health it. This is... I can't eat this, right? Okay, no, it's not the one I thought it was. This is medicine that heals all status ailments packed with the latest health supplements. It's worth a decent bit, and, uh... Yeah, it's good, but, like... I probably... I'm not gonna test out whether you can eat it, because I think it does give RP back, and I think that would be kind of messed up. This is some medicine I asked Natalie for. Thanks for bringing it to me. I wanted to take it as soon as possible. Thank Natalie for me, will you? I'm sure I'll need her services again in the future, too. Oh, and t thanks to you, too. You delivered it for me? Thanks, Cal. Here, a token of my appreciation. 100G. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you need any wood, Kyle? Well, it certainly never hurts to have some around. Douglas gave me way too much the other day, and it's just in the way, so I'll give you some. 100 pieces of wood. How you know if I need you for something again? Thanks for re-gifting, you jerk. Thanks, Cal. You're such a big help. I'll let you know if I need help again. Again. Uh, there's so many quests, I don't even know what I want to do. Oops, I did it again. I want this no matter what. I need something for my fortune telling. Can you find it for me? I don't remember what this is, so we'll have to ask Alicia. Whether I do this quest now or not depends on what the item is. Hi Kyle, thanks for coming. I want you to find an amethyst somewhere in Padova Mountain's crossroad. I want to try using it for my fortune telling. I'll give you 100G if you bring it to me. Thanks. Okay. That's easy. And worth a crossroad. Uh, is it... Yeah, it's over here. And while I'm here... Oh, cool. I got a shoulder piece. That's rad. <laughs> More like, no rad. Got it? Got it, eh? 
Okay, and Amethyst. Oh, this is it. This is what I wanted. Thanks. Here's 100G for your trouble. Cal, you've really got what it takes. I was wrong about you. You were wrong about me? I don't work holding anything to Alicia to make her misjudge me, but whatever. If I need something from you again, Cal, I'll put it on the bulletin board, okay? Be sure to check it occasionally. I mean, absolutely. And off to adventure! A request from Cami. Improve your luck with rock, paper, scissors. The super training plan for luck. To adventure! Hey, Cami. Hey, Cami, what's up? Hi, you finally came, Kyle. I've got super... I've got super Kyle training for you today. Ah, uh, so we're doing this again. I wonder what you've got in store for today. Uh, today will be... Raising your luck in battle with rock, paper, scissors. You have to play me rock, paper, scissors, okay? But you have to put our hands. Rock, paper, scissors, huh? Well, this seems a little more fun than last time. Hmm? Was our last training session too hard on you, Kyle? Oh, no, nah, it wasn't so bad. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's play ten matches. Okay, let's give it all you got. Rock, paper, scissors, go! Um... Scissors. Ha! Rock, paper, scissors, go! Rock! Dang it. Rock, paper, scissors, go! Are you gonna shoot paper every time? <laughs> I... I don't think it's luck if you always pick paper! <laughs> I forgot about this, okay? Alright. Finished. Uh, da 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 da! And now for the results. In this set, you won 9 out of 10. Good job! You're really good at rock, paper, scissors, Kyle. It's always good to be lucky in any sort of battle. <laughs> well, it certainly doesn't hurt. You just got one step closer to becoming Super Kyle. Because you did so well, I'm gonna give you a super special reward. Tomato seed. Thanks, Kimmy. Good luck next time. Bye bye. And while we're here, take a strawberry. Hey, I love this. That voice still never fits. It doesn't fit at all. Good morning. Hey, Kyle. I've made you big. You've made some good friends already! I'm glad you're getting to know Dorothy better, but if you try anything funny, I'm not gonna let you off easy! Ha ha ha! Oh, morning! Come on, Kyle, play with me! No, I refuse. Okay, uh... Oh, I can... do a quiz game with her. Yeah, sure! Why not? Let's go become Super Kyle! Do, 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 do. Hi, uh, Cammy. I wonder what sort of training you've got for me today. You made it, Kyle. I've got more Super Kyle training for you. Okay, so today we'll be improving your brain power with memory games. You were halfway done with my training, so I'm kicking it up a notch. Okay, I'm gonna say some names and I want you to memorize them. You want me to remember the names in order? Yep. If you get them right, you'll clear the stage. Okay, let's see what you got. Explanation. Messages will appear on the bottom screen. Please remember them in order. Okay, let's go. Round one. Banana, apple, orange, strawberry. So, Bayos. Orange. Round two. Pepper, turnip, carrot, cabbage, potato. B-T-C-C-P. Carrot, cabbage. Um, uh, I, I'm honestly blanking for some reason. Okay. Yeah, I am forgetful, to be honest. Alright. It's weird, the things I can remember, the things I can't. Okay, so it's Bayos, I believe, is the first one. Orange. Okay. Round two, uh, pepper. 
It was pepper, that's what it was. I said potato, because I love potato. Correct! Round three! Tuna Salmon Pike Char, TSPC. Salmon. All right, finished. Perfect score! You got such a good memory, Kyle! So have I finally started turning you into Super Kyle yet? I think I have! Here's your reward! The Pineapple Seed, another quest done. Thanks, Cammy. Keep it up? Okay, bye-bye! Well, we can use that later. Pineapples are actually an extremely profitable fruit. Like strawberries, they regrow, so it's worth having. I can't plant them now because I still have a bunch of things already growing, but when I harvest some of those to use, then I'll plant those. For now, I'm assuming Cammy is done, right? Yeah, Cammy's done. Um... Yeah, we can instantly do this for Gordon. Let's do it! Gordon, I'm here about your request from the bulletin board. Oh, you saw that, Kyle! Well, okay, I need you to bring me an aquamarine. You should be able to find an aquamarine if you go to Trias Forest. I'd go myself, but I can't go away from the church. Since there are monsters around there, it'd be too dangerous to send Dorothy or Cammy. Well, I thought I'd turn to you, Kyle. It should be easy for you. You can leave it to me. I knew I could count on you! Well, be on your way then. Be careful out there! Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll be real with you. I already had the thing you wanted. <laughs> Gordon, here's your amethyst. <laughs> well, Kyle, you made it back! I knew I could count on you! Well, you hope you're into the deal. Here's your payment. Go ahead, take it! 600G. I've got something else for you, too! 100 wood. Thank you very much. We've got to look out for one another in this world. It's the golden rule, Kyle. You've really helped me in this time. It's hard keeping up with my daughters. Thanks! Uh, wait, keeping up with them? I'm not sure about the relevance there, but it's fine. Yeah, I also can't check my wood count, but I think I have somewhere around 650 currently. I don't remember how much I need, but I'm gonna be absolutely fine on wood. I'm gonna need more later in the game to do stuff, though, but it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll get plenty. Um, whose quest should I do now? Yeah, oops, I did it again. I dropped my red ruby brooch. I played with her heart. Oh, baby, baby. The shoulder piece. A crude wooden shoulder piece. Level 1, worth 55. We'll need more of these later, but Sylvie worked hard to get it, so we're bound to ship it. I ship it. Strong string. Very elastic and quite hard to cut. I got two of these last night, so I'll be shipping one of them here. Getting more stuff that I've obtained recently. I have a moon drop. A mysterious flower that grows by moonlight. Shines as though it fell from the moon. I have the cabbage, a well-balanced vegetable that tastes good raw, fried, or boiled. Eating this is great after a big meal. An onion, a vegetable that's crisp and raw but mellows after being fried, causes tears when chopped. A small egg, a small egg taken from a cluckadoodle, encased in a fragile white shell. The small milk, a small amount of milk taken from a buffamu, high in calcium and other important nutrients. The shrimp, a type of crustacean encased in a hard shell, trivia, it has 13 pairs of legs. The needlefish, long and slender, swims near the surface, has a greenish back and a shiny silver white belly. The pond smelt, this long and slender fish adapts well, often fish from frozen lakes through holes. The char, a calmly sought after catch by fishermen everywhere, likes cold waters. Stop that blur. I apparently have already shipped a small egg, so I don't have to ship that one. It's a good thing I checked. So the char, the pond smelt, the needlefish, the small milk, the shrimp, the onion, the cabbage, the moon drop. And since I have them, I don't really need them. 
the bronze and the iron. As we head up here, we'll take this char that we fished from Blessia Island, instead of all those Mace you Trout that I got during the last episode, and give this to Dorothy. That's for me. Really, I really, really like Char. Are you here about the bulletin board? Yes, you dropped something, right? I thought I'd help you search. Oh, well, about the bulletin board. That's all taken care of now. G goodbye Hold on a moment. Did you find what you lost? Oh, uh, well, no, not yet, but it's okay. No, it isn't. Surely you want to get it back, don't you? I'll help you search. Uh, uh, well, that's very nice of you. A ruby brooch, right? Any tea where you dropped it? Well, I think it may have been in Trieste Forest. Trieste Forest? What were you doing in such a dangerous place? Uh, well, anyway, I'll look at- I'll take a look around Trieste Forest for you. Don't worry, if it's there, I'll find it. Uh, thank you. And like that, we're gone. It should be noted that I actually recently got Wallpaper Engine from a friend. Random kind of plug for that thing on Steam. It lets me have a bunch of animated backgrounds and stuff, and right now I can see behind my capture windows is Rune Factory Frontiers opening, so I'm just like, oh, well, that's fitting. <laughs> that was easy. And while I'm here, since I don't really... Oh. Uh... Hmm. I didn't realize that they all the strawberries were in sync with one another. Oh, water, and I'll come back for this energy later. The ruby brooch. Thanks. Thank you for finding this for me. Hi, uh, Kyle. When well, Fern says thanks, too. Huh? Who? You mean your doll? Yes, please take this. You got the sweetie potato. Uh, yeah. The sweetie potato. Butter and milk mixed into yam, into the yam strainings, then poured into molds and baked. It is worth thirteen twenty. It is a good food item, and I'm not sure if anyone actually loves this. I'm gonna check. Yes, actually, someone does love this. One person loves this. It is Rosalind. This is Rosalind's favorite gift. I may end up keeping it to give to her. I'm. I'm gonna need to cook one no matter what, just to be able to say that I cooked one. So like, do I want the money or do I want the love? But then again, I'm using the, f I, I'm probably not gonna keep doing the Fourth of Clover past spring. So yeah, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll give it to her towards the end. All right, that's neat. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. No problem at all. You're absolutely precious, you know that? Actually, now that I think about it, she probably has new dialogue now that she's ranked up in love. Hi. Hello, Kyle. So, Dorothy, any good news lately? Well, um, I can't think of anything right now, but, um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize, I was just asking. That will put us at... A grand total of two with her. Two, really, you can see it on the screen. I don't need to list them. Also, I like how there's seven, which is perfect for the amount here. It's lovely. Wild. I'm actually doing decent for not having finished spring yet. Makes me feel good. Bustin', 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 bustin'. Makes me feel good. Do I have... I do not have her next one yet. This will be a lot of running back and forth today. I saw the bulletin board. Is there something you need help with? Why are you here? I was about to just do like a note to self about something, and then it's just like right in my face. Oh, well, I... I don't like to ask for help with important business, but could you take these documents to Natalie for me? I'm already on my way over there and probably heading to the bathhouse. So really, this is more so uh, a sign of my laziness than anything else. She placed a request for them a while ago and they arrived from the city yesterday. She must be getting quite impatient waiting for them. I want to get them to her as quickly as possible. But of course, we are so b both so busy. That's where you come in. 
Sure, I'll get them to Natalie, no problem. Great, thank you. Here are the documents, then. City data. Make sure you don't lose them. Get them to Natalie safely. I'm counting on you, Kyle. Uh, city documents, uh... City data, that's what it was. Information sent from the city includes numerous documents relating to medicine. This is a curio item, or... Yeah, it is. A curio item, and it's, uh, you know, not something you can do anything with. It's just for this quest. City data. Oh, what's this? It looks like some important papers from the capital. Byron asked me to give them to you. Oh, the papers! I've been waiting so long for these! Thanks, Kyle! Oh, you're welcome. They seem to be very important. That's right, they are. They contain the very latest information about medicine. Medicine's so advanced in the capital, it's just unbelievable some of the things they can do. I need the most up-to-date information if I'm going to be able to the best doctor I can be. These documents are very important, though, so they can only be sent them to the mayor of a town. You sure are passionate about your work. Illnesses and injuries never stop. I have to be fully prepared for anything that might happen. I'm just doing what's necessary. Well, tell Byron hello for me, okay? Thanks for your help, Kyle. <laughs> no problem. Because I haven't really let time progress, he should be right over here. Ah, oh, you made the delivery! Good work! I'm sure Natalie was pleased, too! Yes, she was very pleased. She told me to thank you, too. Good, good! You've helped me to get through a busy day! Now here's something for your trouble. You and your time powers! Hmm, Seven G. I'm sure I'll need your help again in the future. And that's it from Byron. Oh, actually, wait. I was kind of hoping to talk to you to see what your new dialogue option was. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I like to decorate my home with autumn grass. They're lovely to look at, don't you think? Flowers really do soothe the heart and mind. Okay, next quest. A day of questing and then eventually a birthday. Uh, who to even... Hey, Rosalind! Welcome, Kyle. So you saw the bulletin board? You're a lifesaver. This is kind of embarrassing, so I ask that you please don't tell anyone. Understood. Can you get a little closer to me, Kyle? Huh? Like this? Like that. I'm gonna speak quietly, so listen carefully. Okay. Are you alright? Yep. Her breath is really tickling my ear. Head to the mayor's house and make sure no nobody sees you. I want to give Byron this secret message for me. No matter what happens, remember to be discreet. I'm not sure, but Barrett might be there too. This goes without saying, but make sure he doesn't notice you either. I've prepared a reward of 6,000 G for you if you do this for me. On that note, here's the secret letter. Receive the secret letter. Yeah. We're being discreet, and also Byron isn't home, though because this is a quest, he'll probably teleport home for this. A secret letter addressed to Byron, entrusted you by Rosalind. We can't read it, which is lame. Or he could not warp back home because he's not the quest giver, he's the quest receiver, which means he's probably still up here. Yep. Oh, let me take a look at these documents. Oh, this crest. Well, well. I see, I see. She's got a plan from the look of it. Thank you for this, Kyle. Tell the sender I understand. Alright. Kind of roundabout, but I figured to save time. Good work, Kyle. Looks like everything went fine. Yes, Byron said he understood. Mm, that's a relief. Thank you so much, Kyle. Well done. Please accept your reward. 6,000 G. Also, I'm also going to give you 100 pieces of wood on top of that. Because, you know, that's necessary over such an already good reward. Ah, uh, and I know I've said this already, but please make sure not to tell anybody about this. Alright. Do the next quest. I'm going to see what's wrong with UA's kimono because it might be strong string that she needs or it might just be colored grass i'm not sure if it's strong string i already have the thing on me so that'll be easy if so the free quest done simple 
I want to talk to you. You, I, I read your note on the message board. Does something happen? Take a look at this. The stain. I was eating breakfast, and I guess I wasn't paying a good attention. Because I got the stain on my kimono, now it won't come out at all. I've heard that white grass juice can be used to remove stains, but I don't have any on hand right now. I can't focus on my business when I've got such an awful stain on my kimono. Could you bring me a white grass? You've got to help me, Kyle. Alright, I'll find one for you. Really? Thank you. I think you should be able to find a white grass growing somewhere in Padova Mountains. It can be really dangerous in there, so be careful. Thanks, Kyle. I actually had one on me. Until I sold it last night. I was trying to clear up inventory and I didn't figure I needed any of the colored gra grasses, so I sold them all. So I'm gonna hope that I can buy one of these. I... No, oh, I didn't actually mean to talk to you, but it's fine. Uh, what do you have in stock? Cool. Awesome. Amazing. Fantastic. Great. And... I'm gonna check my, uh, ship list later, but I don't think I have purple or indigo. Uh, you know what? I, I won't buy them. I'll just get them eventually, naturally. Because that's a waste of money. It's a huge waste of money. Also, I definitely just saw Byron passing by. He's definitely going to go to the path. White grass. UA, here's your white grass. Thank you. You've really helped me all out, Kyle. Well then, let's give it a try. First, spoil the grass, then wring the juice out, then gently rub it onto my cloth. Rub, 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 rub. Ah, look, the stain came right out. Fantastic, my kimono looks good as new again. It's all thanks to you, Kyle. Here's a little something to show my appreciation. Fried eggs. Thank you, I'm glad it worked. Me too, it's an important look professional at work. Nobody's gonna trust a merchant with a gross stain kimono. I really owe you one, Kyle. Alright, fried eggs. Um, I, we can actually buy this if we want to, but it sells for 690 The definitive home-cooked egg dish. It tastes changed depending on the amount of love applied when cooked. Wild. So this is no one's favorite. Uh, I'm not sure the effect, but it's worth selling for money, I guess. The one we make later in the game will just be one that I guess I eat. But money, my money. Money. Okay. I forgot something again. Can you bring it over? Julia, we're finally coming to see you, now that it's almost 3 p.m. It's not 3 p.m. How did... This is BS. How does he get to go in there? I guess they're at a high enough friendship level, which makes sense for Julia. Yeah, whatever. Good afternoon. Yeah, I hear I thought you were so busy you couldn't even go over to Natalie, you jerk. Alright, um... Seafood pizza. Pizza topped with shrimp and squid. Looks fantastic and it smells great too. Cost us over 4,000, so I'm hoping you like it. Wow. It's my birthday today. Thank you so- thank you for the present. I'm so happy! Your birthday's the only time when you get to eat something like this. Even though I technically could eat it whenever, but I refuse to eat it except for on my birthday. No, seriously. You can't gift it to them. It doesn't make sense. Whatever. I'm pretty sure Toy Herb is her favorite gift otherwise. Thanks. This smells great. Is that for me? Thank you, Kyle. I don't know what that voice is. It just sounds like a modification of like Cammy's or something. I don't know. Alright, quest time. I saw your message, Julia. You came so quickly. I knew I could count on you to help me out. Anyhow, if you're wondering what I need you to do, have a look at this. Isn't this... Just a plain old sword? Tanya left it here. Isn't this a little dangerous to just leave lying around? <laughs> it's probably less dangerous just lying around than it is in Tanya's hands. She was actually trying to demonstrate a sword finding technique in the bath. She terrified all my other customers. Anyway, I'd be grateful if you could return the sword to Tanya for me. Mm. Thanks, you're so kind. A Tanya sword. You're a great guy, Kyle. And so cute, too. Hmm? Did you say something just now? Oh, oh no, no, don't mind me. Don't mind me. You're, I'm just thinking about how dumb you are for not realizing any of this. What? <laughs> oh, and while well, I'm thinking about it. 
Tanya's sword, a sword forgotten by Tanya. Very clear what it is. <laughs> hey, Tanya, you know, it's your next door neighbor who could have walked over and given it to you anytime they weren't open, but, you know, whatever, I guess. This is your sword, isn't it, Tanya? Just Julia found it and told me to bring it to you. Ah, I forgot it at Julia's bathhouse. I've been looking all over for it and I was starting to think I'd lost it for good. I see. Well, here you go. I'm sorry, the most more precious something is to me, the easier it seems to be forget where I left it. I've got to love how that just blacked out because this cord is starting to die on me. Still, I would have thought a sword would be pretty hard to forget. Well, you see, it was a long day and I'd had a couple of drinks. <laughs> I'm glad you found it anyway. Thank you, Kyle. And thank Julia for me, too. It was no problem. I'll let Julia know, too. Julia! She says thank you! Uh, Kyle, did you bring Tanya's sword to Tanya? Yeah, she really missed it. She told me to thank you for her. <laughs> That's nice. I'm always such a bother, Kyle. Thank you for taking the time to help me out. Don't worry about it. If you have any more have any more trouble, just let me know. I will. You're so great, Kyle. Thank you, and here's a little token of my appreciation. The toy herb seed. Thank you. It's the seeds of an herb that I really like. If you plant it, maybe you can get a little more of it to me. Okay, see you later. So we just got nine more of her favorite gift, technically. <laughs> and because it's her birthday... Uh... Oh. I guess her love doesn't go up until the next day. Hmm. Unfortunate. We can't immediately do the next quest. Which is kind of what I was planned on doing. Unfortunate. Um... Let's tackle a goblin pirate. The quest can be replayed. This is the third and I believe final request for now from Tanya. So Tanya will have more quests for us later in the game, but a certain story event needs to happen before we can even start on the later quests. For now, goblin pirates. You're here for a new trial, aren't you? Excellent. This one might give you a little trouble, but here we go. Take out ten goblin pirates. Keep your wits about you, you hear? What you're going down in your D-I-E for sure. <laughs> uh, you know the drill. Come back to me once you've defeated at least ten goblin pirates. Bussy Island is the territory of the goblin pirate. Do your best. So we're going to be using Sylvie for this quest. With my battle hammer in tow, I'll meet you at Bless you. With my battle hammer and Sylvia in tow, Sylvie? So, 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 wow. Okay. With my battle hammer and Sylvie in tow, we'll meet you at Blessy Island. Okay. Uh, I believe these ones are the Goblin Pirates. Yeah. This will be the only place that we can fight just them. Oh, wow, there's a lot of lag when I have Sylvie on screen. So the easiest way... The easiest way to do this, I will not be including the timer on screen just for the sake of my editing, is during respawn time, if you want to save time, just keep doing this. It'll actually stop time from passing while still respawning the monster. It'll take up some of your real time, but if you're like ever running low or you want to try to grind items, it's actually a decent way to do it. Speaking of grinding items, we just got the quality cloth. Nice. Sylvie, don't you dare. Come over here. And I'll water while I'm doing this as well. Here we go. And we're done here. That one was fairly painless. We'll be revisiting there later, at least I will be probably after the episode ends. I'm just trying to get as many quests done today as possible. It's my goal to kind of just cut out some of the days where there isn't a lot going on. Instead, focus on the days where it's like 
festivals and birthdays and whatnot, and use those days to show you guys as many quests and everything. I'd like to talk. Looks like you managed to feed the required ten goblin pirates. How was it? Tough? If you're having a lot of trouble, maybe you should buy a different weapon. I saw all kinds of fabulous weapons here, you know? You made it back safely, though. Well done. Here's your reward, 1,000 G. 100 per kill. Nice. Thank you. I'll give you another battle hint now, then. Each dungeon has two types of monsters. Those are active in the daytime, and those that are active at night. Even if you've been somewhere before, have you been there both in the day and at night? You might find something new at different times of the day. Anytime you want to ch uh, try another challenge, just come on back. Chop your way through these monsters. And Tanya's quests are officially done. Okay, I'm gonna try for one more quest before the end of this day. Uh... Herman. Hello, Herman. Well, now, if it isn't Kyle! You saw my message on the bulletin board. Let's get right to it. I'm missing a dish essential in any proper day some coquille family lunch. I want you to bring me a fried... God! I just so... I just... Don't be like me. Don't be me, guys. Uh, future Gabe, please tell everyone who watches me not to do what I did when I sold that. Your payment would be 5,000 G. 5,000 nothing. 5,000 something. 5,000 waffles, once again. 5,000 waffles. How could I do this? How could I forget this again? I came to buy. <sighs> that is so rough that that happened again. Ugh. Didn't you ever give it a rest, human? Alvarna's a fairly backwater town, even for Norad. Even so, if I catch you up making fun of it, I'm not gonna let you off easily. No, I wouldn't ever. Hmm? Wouldn't you? Rude. An emerald for the girl. Thanks, I love these. Cause I hadn't given her her gift yet today. It's not a proper same- yeah, okay. Yep. Fried egg time. Ah, oh, just what I expect of you, Kyle. Here's your- here's you never failing sh falling short of my expectations, and here's a little something for you. 5,000 G. Not waffles. Sad. That puts us at a grand total of 62,212 G. Nice. That's actually pretty good. And while I'm thinking about it, does he change what he says now? Well... Thank you, you've done well! I guess I need to leave and come back. Then he'll say something different. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, good day! Okay, uh, Kyle, listen to this. I've just started trying to grow my own peppers. I've heard the homegrown fresh peppers have a taste all their own. That's why I need to take good care of them until they're ready to harvest. I guess that's the voice I'm going for for the moment. <laughs> Let's help out the entire Daesung Kill Kill family today. Just like we helped out the doctor's family too. I don't I don't know Natalie's last name, so I can't really just Whatever. Uh where's Max? Doubt he would be back here. No. I I'm be real with you, I have no idea where Max hangs out. The docks! Maybe. Oh, good day. There's a lot of different jobs in the world to pick from, huh? I want to become a doctor, but I'm not sure if there's everything... If that's everything I'd like to do. That was a mouthful to read. Max, where are you? They actually have his entire schedule mapped out. Wild. Wednesday, uh... Oh. The reason I couldn't find him is because he's not outside. He's in his bedroom, I guess. Wild. Yo, Kyle. 
No, that's not the voice. <laughs> that's not the voice at all. <laughs> Yo, Kyle, it's kind of sudden, but let me explain about the secret mission. A secret mission? Yeah, that's right. Is something bothering you? Uh, no. Okay, then let me explain. Kyle, you head towards Trias Forest to Aegis Falls, and when you get there, defeat an orc archer and bring back Arrowhead as your booty. So, an easy tech, don't you think? It's pay the payback is big, it's 6,000 waffles. As I said, this is a secret mission, don't blab out to anyone else. Just get in and get the item quickly. Quietly, whatever. Got it? Good, I'm counting on you. Alright, uh, we will do this, uh, kind of. But rather than do what he said, I will instead just grab one of the ones that I have stocked up in here. Uh, I'll hand him a level one. I kind of been doing a bit of grinding, trying to get items that I'm going to need later on in the game. And I figured, you know, that would be a way to do it. Okay. Arrowhead. Good job, Kyle. You really do nice work. This is the Arrowhead? Ah, excellent. This will definitely prove that I defeated a monster. This will stop all the stupid gossip that I'm just a braggart who can't actually fight. Oh, um... Well, um... Oh, you're still here? Oh, that's right. I still have to pay you. How rude. Here's 6,000 waffles for your payment. 6,000 G. I... You know, it doesn't prove anything. Actually, it proves more that you're a braggart. Good afternoon. Oh, hello, uh, Max. Have you ever heard of an instrument called the piano? I touched one of those pianos for the first time the other day. The quality of the tones it can play was simply magnificent. I found it deeply entrancing. I guess that's his voice for now, until I forget it the next time I record. What? Oh, apparently you can't. Yeah, right, I forgot. Okay. Douglas and UA are up four. Tanya, Rosalind, Cami, Julia, Barrett are all at three. Byron, Herman, Max, Ray, Gordon, Dorothy, Mana, Cecilia, Natalie, Alicia are all at two. Roy, Egan, and Jake are all at one. And that's where we're ending off this episode. We have done a lot of quests, so Future Gay better be on top of this. Future Gay better have put in so many of those, like, requests things that you don't even know what to do with because I realized I forgot Tanya's first one in the first episode. Yeah, that's a thing. I never rented out the picture for it or even wrote up the description. I just looked at it and I'm like, why does this have question marks? And I looked back in the video and I'm like, I never did that. Oh no. So, uh, for the sake of continuity, I guess I'll put that in right here. Yeah, that's on screen now. Next time, we'll work on more quests as well as just, you know, events. I don't know what day I'll be coming in next. I actually can check that right now before I send off. The next day is actually Natalie's birthday. So, look forward to that. It will not just be Natalie's birthday, though, I think. Um, we'll... I like to try to cover two days if possible. So, depending on the length of that recording... I may end up doing Natalie's birthday as well as finally covering the bestiary stuff, maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure. I haven't decided for you. <laughs> we have uh, the 21st, so five days left until then. So I'll be playing four more days between then, the 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. And I'll see you all next time. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.